Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineers YouTube channel. In this practical video, I will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of floor beam. So this is one of the important video, especially for steel structure design, in which I will guide you for technical terms. If you have any question related to this short video, so you can comment, I will respond to you. Guys, you can see this is floor beam steel reinforcement. And the length between these two columns is here. As you can see, this is one column. That is other column. Now the span between two columns is 16 feet. Now I will guide you for size of beam, which is 18 inches by 12 inches. Width is 12 inches. Depth is 18 inches. And the length between two columns or the span between two columns is 16 feet. Which you can say this is the normal span between two columns normal distance if you see guys we have three steel rods at the bottom which is tension zone in upper portion of this beam we have two bars so total here we have five bars three at the bottom which is tension zone two in upper portion which is compression zone if you see at the distance of l by 4 from central line of this column to the distance of l by 4 or you can say to the distance of four feet we have extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment which are two numbers of bars guys you can see two numbers bars we have here at the distance of l by 4 where we are resisting negative bending moment by these extra bars if you don't provide so there it will make cracks after some time that's why because the positive bending moment we have at the middle of the beam but negative bending moment we have at the end of the beam. At the end of the beam means at the support where supports are column. If you see, we used here 16 mm die of steel rod in bottom portion, also in upper portion, and also in extra steel rods, the dia is 16 mm. If you see the stirrups, stirrups dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 5 inches at the distance of L by 4 where we have four feet after l by four we increase the spacing of stirrups which is up to seven to se six to seven inches that's why because there we don't have negative bending moment where we have extra steel rods our negative bending moment are at the distance of l by four you should provide our closely the stirrups should be placed closely as you can see here if you see the hooks are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree that's why because it resists also with earthquake and the length of the hooks should not be less than three inches if you see the depth is greater than the width which is 18 inches width is 12 inches this is with concrete cover that's why because the shuttering size is 18 by 12 inches but if you see the ring size is here 9 by 15 inches on each side we have 40 millimeter concrete cover if that is bottom left right and top that's why because if you don't provide the proper concrete cover so it's exposed to the environment so the steel should be rusted so in that case it can't work properly inside the concrete so the concrete cover is very important so normally you can provide from 1 to 1.5 inches if you see the spacing is 5 inches at the distance of 4 feet or at the distance of l by 4 that's why because the length between two column is 16 feet so 16 feet should be divided by 4 which is l by 4 then you will get the length 4 feet so in that place you will provide the extra steel rods or bent up bar or crank bar bent up bar or crank bar is economical compared to extra steel rods but nowadays in most of the construction especially in structure design we are providing extra steel rods if you see on the other side we have a chaja which length is about two feet and six inches so also we have a cantilever beam on the other side look at here so the spacing of stirrup is increasing at the distance of after l by four
Hope this short video can help you to know about the steel structure design for floor beam. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.